Before we start this video, a large thank you to Riddix Gaming for becoming a Patreon. You are awesome, man. Thank you for your support. Alright guys, let's continue with our inventory UI. So, we're going to make our equipment window now. Our equipment screen window, rather. So let's go to our left panel here. I'm just going to duplicate this weapon inventory window. And I'm going to eradicate everything inside of it. I just really want the background that's inside here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to bring that above the weapon inventory window. Uh, I'm going to call this equipment screen or equipment window. Yeah, actually, let's call it equipment window so we can keep the naming conventions the same. Excellent. Okay, let's open that up. Let's go in here and see what we need to delete. So we just want the UI background. So, uh, whoops, to me delete everything. So let's delete the inventory slot parent. And let's just rename this thing here to equipment window again. All right, so that looks good. Now let's actually get started on making the UI for the window. So this is gonna be the window that we open up where we can change our weapons and our head equipment, our chest equipment, leg equipment, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's go and make an image on this UI background here. I'm just gonna go ahead and make like another little um, UI background-esque thing for the left and right weapon slots. So I'm gonna do that real quick and give this the proper width and height that I want and make it the same color as our UI. Gonna rename that to UI background as well because it is just a background for our UI. There's not much real purpose for it other than that. So next we're gonna actually add a grid layout component on top of this as I've just done. And uh, we're gonna add a couple buttons. Um, you can make the cell size whatever. I'm gonna try 50 by 50 first. So next let's duplicate a bunch of buttons here. Uh, you're gonna want anywhere between four and eight because you're gonna have two weapon slots in each hand, or if you're doing it like Dark Souls 3, you could have uh, four weapon slots on each hand. So I've gone ahead in here and made eight. And let's try 60 by 60. Now we can still go a little bit bigger than that. You know what, 80 by 80 would even be fine. That looks good. So I should probably put this on center middle. Um, actually, by the padding here. I'm just gonna mess around this till I get it looking a little bit nice. You guys can feel free to do the same. Again, we're just prototyping inventory here, so don't stress too much about the way it looks. Gonna go ahead and delete all the text from these buttons, and then I'm gonna change the button to our UI color. So, we can actually grab all these now and delete them, because we know how it's gonna look now when we duplicate a bunch. Because I'm gonna make edits to one button, and then duplicate that when I'm done. Um, I'm gonna go ahead here and Drag in my handy dandy UI elements that I've created for us. I'll link those down in the description below. Got a sword and shield icon here. Gonna use the sword icon for the right hand and the shield icon for the left hand, indicating that usually your shield is your offhand weapon. Gonna make that box the same size as the game object by holding Alt and clicking there, very important. Gonna drop in the sword right here, and that looks nice. Gonna make it the same color as my UI. There we go. Now we need to make another image below this one for the item's icon itself. So the icon that will appear depending on whatever item you actually have equipped. Uh, the item's icon. And I'm just going to name that right hand icon because that just shows that it's uh, it's almost like a little bit of art there for it. There's not really much real purpose to that. Make an image, alt click, make it the same size. going to call this mm, item icon. Perfect. And I'm just going to disable that by default. It'll be enabled if there's an item on it. Now, we can duplicate the button however many times you want. So, if you want an 8, you duplicate it up to 8 times, and then you would rename the last 4 left hand icon, and then you put the shield there to show that this will be for your offhand. Now, I'm going to name all these slots, right hand slot 1 through 4, and left hand slot 1 through 4. Okay, cool. So next, I'm going to zoom in here, and we're going to go to the slots here and the idea is we want to actually be able to click these slots open the weapon inventory screen and then click on the weapon inventory and whatever weapon you click it will equip to the slot that will be done over the course of the next couple of videos uh, right now we want to handle actually loading our weapons on these slots so let's go to the equipment window and let's add a component we're going to make a script called equipment window UI that's just going to handle all things for our equipment window we're going to load that up Make our namespace as is per tradition. Okay, can eradicate the start and update method here. Now we're going to want to start this off by saying public bool 
And then we're going to say right hand slot 01. Actually, one second. Now I think in our code we can only we only uh, coded it for two weapons in each hand. So I'm actually going to remove two right hand slots and two left hand slots. Um, if you guys want, I can go back and change the code to support four weapons, but it won't be that hard. I'm sure you guys can do that on your own. So since the code only lets us do two each hand, let's do that for now. Let's go over here and we're gonna go to UI background and we're gonna say, um, we're gonna change this to middle center, where it was this child alignment, and then change the top and the left to zero. So it's right in the center, perfect. Honestly, could do that at the start, didn't really think of it. Okay, now back into a new UI. We're gonna say public bull right hand slot 01 selected, public bull right hand slot 02 selected, and then we're gonna do the same thing for left hand. Public bull left hand slot 01 and 02 selected. So we need a way to tell our UI which slot we're trying to change the weapon out on. Uh, this will be more important in the next video, but let's create it now while we're here. Then we're gonna create a void called select right hand slot 01, and we're gonna say right hand slot 01 select equals true. And we're gonna do the same thing for right hand slot 02 and left hand slot 01 and 2. And again, this is how we're going to communicate to our UI that we have one of these slots selected and we want to load a weapon on it or change a weapon out when we enter the equipment screen. Uh, okay, cool. So now you wanna go down here and click all these buttons individually, add something there where it says on click, hit the plus icon, drag your equipment window in, and then go down to the equipment UI and click select right hand slot 01. Do the same thing for right hand slot 02 and left hand slot 01 and 2. So just hit that plus icon and where it says on click, drag the equipment window uh, game object in, and then go down to uh, equipment window UI and hit whatever slot it is. My uh, editor's being a bit stubborn here in this clip as it doesn't want to load up the script, but it readies itself. Okay, now once that is done, we have a way to tell when we click these buttons uh, what weapon slot we're trying to uh, mess with. So now we're gonna go to the UI manager. And we're actually going to say right below player inventory here, we're gonna say equipment window UI. We're gonna call that because we're gonna need that in the very near future. And we'll declare that on start. Actually awake. Here we go, find object of type, type equipment window UI. Wonderful. Okay, minimize that. Now we have to make another script for these equipment slots. So let's go down here and add component. I'm gonna call this hand equipment slot UI. And that was good, let's add that. Okay, now let's load that up in Visual Studios. Everybody's not appearing here, the editor appears being stubborn again. Oh, there we go, cool. All right, let's eradicate the start and update method, namespace SG as it's per tradition. Okay, we're gonna say public image. Gonna to wanna to use, say using Unity Engine.UI first. And then we're gonna say icon. So this will be the icon of the weapon that we load in the slot. And then we're going to say public bool right hand slot 01, public bool right hand slot 02, and then public bool left hand slot 01 and left hand slot 02. So basically you wanna know which slot this is so we can check this in the editor. And then we're also gonna need the weapon item, not weapon inventory slot. Let's save that there. And very similar to the inventory slot prefabs we made, we're gonna say public void, add item, weapon item, weapon. And then we're going to say, let's change that to new weapon actually. We're gonna say weapon equals new weapon. And then we're going to say icon.sprite is equal to weapon.item icon. And then icon.enabled equals true and game object.selective equals true. So very similar to the inventory prefabs here. We're just taking in the weapon item and we're using the weapon items icon and we're making that icon appear on our UI. We're also gonna make a public void clear item uh, function here, which will be the exact same as the clear item on the uh, inventory prefab script we made. So let's save that and then let's go down to our slots and let's add the script to each one. This is right hand slot 01, so I will check right hand slot 01 right here. And let's add the script on all three of these at the same time. Let's highlight them all here, add component. And let's go through those one by one and check off right hand slot 02, left hand slot 01, and left hand slot 02. Now let's actually drag the icon that will be changed, which is the item icon, into each of uh, the icon variables. Make sure you're clicking uh, the next game object to do it. Like for example, click right hand slot 02 and then drag an item icon. 
and then click left hand slot 01 and drag in the item icon and click left hand slot 02 and dra oh I didn't click it so see I gotta drag this again there we go and drag it in there and we are good to go okay let's minimize all that UI is a lengthy process for sure okay Let's go over here and say handle equipment slot UI array. We're gonna make an array of these. We're gonna call it handle equipment slot UI. And then we're gonna on start, we're gonna say handle equipment slot UI equals get components in children, handle equipment slot UI. So we're getting all of these equipment slots by searching for the children of this game object. And they'll automatically add to the array then. We're gonna make a public void called load weapons on equipment screen. And we're gonna make a for loop. And we're going to say for i is less than handle equipment slot ui.length. We're also going to pass the player inventory here. And we're going to say if handle equipment slot ui i dot right hand slot 01. So if this is the right hand slot 01 uh, slot, we're going to say add item player inventory weapons and right hand slot 0. And basically all that means is we're going to take the first item in our right hand array and add it to the first slot of the right hand, which is right hand slot 01. We're going to do the same then for slot 02, saying else if, and then we're going to do the same for the left hand slot 1 and 2. So again, all this is doing is going, if it's saying if the hand equipment slot is right hand slot 01, then add the weapon from the right hand slot in position 0 on the array from the player inventory. So the first item in the right handed slot goes to the first right hand slot. The second goes to the second and repeat the same for the left. Okay, next we're going to go over to the equipment window UI, actually sorry, the UI manager. And on start, we're just going to say equipment window UI and then we're going to call load weapons on equipment screen and pass the player inventory. I hope none of that is confusing. If it is, comment below. I can further explain it. So let's save that. And now if we go over, I'm just going to move this screen here temporarily uh, until we get it set up next episode for to ignore the HUD. And I'm going to press start and look at that. You will see our weapons are actually up there, uh, the right hand slot weapons and the left hand slot weapons, respectively. And that's really cool. So in the next episode, we're actually going to make it so when we click these, we'll open the weapon inventory, click on any weapon we have in inventory, and we will change them out. So that is very exciting, getting some full inventory functionality being developed here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video has made you as excited as I was. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like. It does jangly help my series a lot. Seriously, guys. And if you're feeling super kind, check out my Patreon below. I appreciate you for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.